Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 8th, 2020. So today we have Shungite, Detoxify Your Life. Do you guys see the pattern that's going on here? Like this is getting, this is getting serious now. This is not something that we can just tiptoe around, pretend like it's not there. Um, the old let it go thing is not, that's not the path to wisdom. That has been sort of the kindergartner approach. Sorry, kindergartners out there. <laughs> it's sort of a kindergarten uh, approach, you know, like an entry level approach to spirituality where it's like, I'm going to pretend like things aren't happening and that will make me happy. If you still in 2020 are in that mindset, you have not been paying attention. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, you cannot pretend like things are not there. What we have to do is strengthen our processing, the self-discovery. And part of that self-discovery is understanding what is your heart wisdom? What is that heart brain doing? How does your energy express through you? How does energy work? Now, if you are somebody who short circuits, and trust me, I've been feeling like I've been short circuiting in the past. I don't know. I got like a temper going a few the last few days. Where I'm like, I swear, if I knock one more thing over, I'm just getting mad at myself for being clumsy or whatever. But ooh, it's been rough. Okay, so I know there are shifts and changes and all kinds of things going on. But again, but again, if you feel like you're short circuiting, it's time to detox your life and. We want, you know, we want to be aware of the toxic conditioning. We've been talking about that for a few days now. We want to be aware of that, but we don't want to be in this space, again, of victimhood. Oh, poor me. It's everybody else. Okay. And that's, again, that's tricky too. And I would love to hear an actual expert's, uh, you know, take on that. Someone who's an expert in, you know, treating people who have been abused by narcissists because, um, uh, I don't know. That's it. Kind of. I've known people who have been on the other end of a narcissist abuse, and they try telling people. We talked about this a couple of days ago, or just maybe it was yesterday, where they try to tell people, and then it makes them sound like they're just this whiny victim or something. And trying, you know what I'm saying? Like it gets tricky. It's almost like you ever see those movies where it's like you see the clone and then you see the real person and you don't know which is real. That is totally the energy that we're coming into here. Okay, where we're fighting perspectives and it's hard to set those boundaries and, you know, to do all the things that you need to do without receiving the backlash from society. Right. So as you go through this, as you go through this time of learning how to find your voice, find your authenticity, and that means connecting deep within, it's not about your surface level stuff. It's just part of the story. You get invested in a story. Remember that story is going to be gone one day. And then where will you be? Detox your life. All right. So you're learning how to balance here, how to balance setting those boundaries, but not kind of crossing the line, I guess, <laughs> not overcorrecting, I guess is what we're getting at here, but try to be very reliant, self-reliant. Okay. Be very self-reliant and be there for you. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.